Howdy, kiddies. I forget every the time. Well, not Dr. Denise. Uh, I'm going to show you some of my convention loot and also talk a little bit about Cincinnati Comic Expo. Had a fantastic time there. And like I said, you know, just you know, John Berman was incredible. David Prowse. I'm really glad I got a chance to see him because I, he just, he didn't seem to be doing all that great. I'm not going to lie to you. Peter Mayhew, energetic as ever. I was hoping to get to see Billy, Billy D. Williams, but he was not there till later in the day. And the line started lining up for him at like 11 o'clock in the morning. And he went there to like three. So by the time we got over there and he was actually there, it was a line back to Terre Haute. Matter of fact, the line for Stan Lee didn't even shrink all day. And I think there was people who were in line for like three or four hours. I'm not joking. Just to get you know, an autograph from Stan Lee, which was 100 bucks, And that doesn't include a photo. You had to bring something to sign. His actual signature was $100 because this could be his last Midwest appearance. So... You know, same thing, I think, with uh, David Prowse. I'll be shocked if Peter Mayhew comes back to Ohio. It's not that they had a bad experience. It's just, come on, these guys are getting up there. And, you know, like Dave Prowse is 81. You know, Peter Mayhew's in his 70s. I think he's 72. So it, it just, you know, it's a bit of a strain. Now, Billy D. Williams lives over here in the States. So chances are he'll be back maybe, you know, depends on how things are going. Okay, let's get right. I'll, I'll, let's go ahead and let's start off. I'll show you. If, Allie, I don't have that many photos, so don't go on me yet, all right? Okay, this is one I got to the con, and you see this particular vest I'm wearing, I've been building on this vest for over 20 years. I've actually lost track of when I actually got it. It started off as a leather jacket, and what happened was is the jacket, you know, eventually I ripped the one arm, like, all the way down the sleeve to here. So I took both arms off, and I turned it into a cut, you know, kind of like motorcycle gangster stuff. Of course, it don't fit as well, because I've gotten to be a fat ass in my older age, but, oh, well, that happens. Okay, here's one of the cue lines just to show you. This is Dave Prowse, and this is back when I was halfway in. And this is when we were first led into the con. Luckily, we went straight back to the autograph line. And you can just barely see him right there. That's him, you know, in the pink shirt. But we we did have to wait a while. But, you know, it, given the fact that, you know, this is, Dave has been, you know, having, uh, I guess he was ushered out the day before for a medical. You know, I guess he was sick. Um, so, you know, what do you call it? So uh, we were just glad he was there. You know, the poor, you know, he's not, like I said, I'm not going to lie to you. He didn't seem to be in all that great a shape. I'm no Dr. House, but he is getting up there. All right, over here was Rob Liefeld. For you folks who know, um, he was the guy who created Deadpool, no longer owns it as far as I know. Um, and so his line was actually pretty popular as well. Over here on the left was Tim Rose, who was the body of Admiral Akbar, amongst other things. And, you know, because the man who did the voice passed away earlier this year. Okay, this was the guy who was three things in front of me. And not to be angry, but I did do a video about this. 20 to 25 items. I lost count to get autographed. And he was like, we had all these people who were lined up behind it. Come on. It's like, couldn't you be a little courteous? We, we do know this is Dave Prowse's probably last appearance in the States. You know, if, I don't know. I think he has a couple more. I'm not sure. But they said this would be the last time he's coming to America. But you did you have to bring everything you've collected since you were five years old so you can turn around and sell it on eBay a couple of days later probably? Come on. You know, it's like there are people who are behind you in line for over an hour. Get real, dude. All right. I'm glad I didn't have a picture of his face because now I can use that without anything. This was a sign up over his table. Okay. That's, of course, the Bearman. Uh, <laughs> there's Lady Gallifrey. Oops. Um, he was very, very intelligent, very smart. Um, I did have a couple words with him about the whole thing, you know, Torchwood Moffat thing, but I did ask him and I did say off the record. So I'm not going to say anything further about that because I'm sorry. Is he did tell me something very, very interesting that I found to be very intriguing, but I did say the words off the record. So I'm going to honor that. All right. And of course he took multiple photos with us. <laughs> And of course, he told us that he told me to do the ugly face while she did the duck face. So, all right, that's how that came up. Okay, Adam Baldwin, fun guy, all that. I don't think he knew what exactly to make of me. I think he took one look at my top hat and wanted to run screaming in the other direction, which is kind of weird for a guy who I saw play Animal Mother in a you know, full metal jacket. But um, <laughs> once again, here's the vest. Here you get to see some more of it. Um, like I said, this thing's got patches on the front and the back. I'll have to. Show it on a video sometime. It's just I don't feel like getting up and getting it so hanging over there. All right. So 
Adam Baldwin, really nice guy. I, I first really, really, you know, like I said, I first saw him in Full Metal Jacket, later saw him in Firefly as Jane Cobb. And like I said, really nice guy, though. Okay, just to give an example of what the lines were like. This was a little bit later on, and we were in a T-shirt booth right here. That's all the cues over there. I should have snapped a photo of the one for Stan Lee. It's all the way on the other end of the room. And it's, it'd be to your left facing this way on this photo. And it was literally back off to the moon. We're talking, I have to say, at least a couple, maybe three city blocks long. Just an estimate because they did have it snake coiled up. Okay, just to give you another view, this was just one of the aisles of the place. I believe this was the same stand, and I just wanted to get an opposite view, and I figured, hey, put my pretty face in it, check me out. Ain't I hot? Oh, yeah. All right. That was the video I shot for that, and I put it in this photo, in this thing, but you've already seen it. And that was just me, just to give you an idea. Okay, look, that's what the ceiling looks like. I'm up amongst the stars. I'm fabulous. Okay, moving on. All right, this was, I should have I asked if I get a photo with it. I just saw it, and I snapped a quick shot. And it was this beautiful, you know what this is, come on. I don't have to mansplain this, you know, speeder bike from Return of the Jedi. And this was the Mandalorian's exhibit table. I just took, you know, like I said, I barely had time to stop and snap a quick shot here and there. This place was beyond crowded. Oh, yeah, don't panic about these. There are guys selling poly, polystyrene blades now and polystyrene weaponry. So that way... You know, because they had a strict no live steel policy at this year's convention. Matter of fact, they had all the doors locked, so you had to go through the one entrance, and you had to have your bag searched before you went in. That's how heightened things have gotten. Crazy shit, considering it's supposed to be America. And, of course, this was a little bit later on in the day when the lines were closed, and I figured I'd get a shot just to give you a little perspective on just how wickedly crazy things got there for a while. <laughs> You know, even uh, Tim Rose and Matt Quinn here, you know, they, they had their fair share of visitors. Now, I didn't get ex actually get a chance to meet them because me and Lady G, after I stayed in place in the Dave Prowls line and she went and hopped in the others for me. And then I eventually caught up to her at Barrowman after she went off to Barrowman and I went to Adam Baldwin. So, okay, there's to give you another little perspective shot. And there's Adam Baldwin's line still going over there. I believe that's Adam Baldwin, ain't it? No, sorry, that's Teddy Sears, duh. That's Adam Baldwin on the other side of him. Yeah, Teddy Sears from The Flash was there. I didn't get a chance to go see him. It's just we had spent so much time in lines at that point that I was like, screw this. We're only going to be here for one day. Let's go get some shopping done, which I kind of regretted. Oh, my God. Uh, you know, too much loot, too much time. But, okay, so, and, of course, this was a guy who, uh, David Mazows, I forgive me if I pronounced it wrong, who was, you know, the you know, young Bruce Wayne in Gotham. And just to give you how crazy, I think that back over there, all right, that's uh, Ray Park. I think back over there is, you know, oh, she, she, uh, sorry, I lost track of where it was. That may have been Peter Mayhew over there. Because Lee Merriweather was here as well. And she was somewhere in this confusion. Sorry about all that. Just, it was a bit of a hectic day yesterday. Okay, there we go. Nice perspective shot again. Oh, yeah, back over here in the background. Let's zoom in. See this huge, humongous crowd back over here? That's the Stan Lee line back there. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's the only shot I got of it. Just to give you an idea. And this continues on all the way back to the convention center, okay? Like, that's luckily like they had this whole thing open. This, this convention, I'd have to say an estimate. I originally said double, but I think it actually tripled in size thanks to these guests they got this year. All right, moving on. Now, this was a little bit later on. Okay, this lovely lady right here is Lee Merriweather. And, of course, she's come over to get an autographed picture from Dave Prowse. This is Dave Prowse's quote-unquote handler slash agent. Um, like I said, I wish I'd gotten a better shot of Dave, but at the same time, i kind of glad I didn't. Like I said, I don't want to sound an alarmist, but like I said, I'm no Dr. House, but he did not look well at all. You know, I'm not kidding. He's in very rough shape. Uh, they had to wheelchair him in and help him to his chair. Um, I'm saying no joke. And oops, um, I'll probably get hit for using this because of the cosplay's not consent thing. But as I was leaving, I noticed there was Ivy Doom Kitty talking to a group of fans. And this was literally as we were on our way out the door. So I was like, okay, what's the harm of it? I'll take a couple quick shots over for my friend Beefhead. You know who he is. 
you know, because he's a real big admirer of her. Matter of fact, I think he's been banned from her Twitter account. But, okay. And, of course, Ivy saw the camera, looked up, and gave me a little smile, or tried to as the last second. I, I really wish I'd had more time. It's just we were on our way out the door. You know, we were, like, both bushed, okay? All right. A couple other remnants here. Fans went out and built their own replica of the semi Optimus Prime. And it was awesome. I wish I'd had time to get my photo snapped in, but we were on our feet for hours. And of course, this is probably one of the parting shots. And I wanted to get this because I was wearing my Bring Back A shirt. And I wanted to make sure, you know, I got a shot of it because we all wish to hope, you know, especially the guys at the Bring Back Ace campaign really, really want Sophie Alder back on the show, you know, even if it's just for an episode for crying out loud. And, of course, some people are already saying, oh, look, it's Dr. Freedom and Eric. You know, so <laughs> They had two TARDISes there, actually. I believe this was um, the newer one. There was a classic one on the other side of the 221B doorway there. And that was two shots of me. Okay, here's the joke. Now, the reason why I walked up and snapped these pictures is just so I could be an edgy bastard. This guy had a replica that he made of the 66 Batmobile. They also had in this chained in area a replica of the bat cycle. And a I don't know if it was the original bat copter or not, but it was there. He wanted you to pay $20 to take pictures of his car and his helicopter and his motorcycle. No, I think it was 30 for the helicopter. Yeah, 20 bucks for a picture of the way called picture taken with your cell phone, blah, blah, blah. No free pictures. And guess what? You weren't even allowed inside this fence to take a picture with the vehicle. If this was not arrogance beyond all comprehension, I do not know what is. Not to mention the fact people were just standing around all day going to the food court, which was to your right from this perspective here, and just sit there and zoom in. Sorry, bub. You're living in an age where even your good iPhone can, can zam in from another, you know, zoom in from the other side of room and zippity bidi zam, you've got a free photo. So nice try, but do not put something in the public arena that you do not want the public to take a picture of. That is just beyond ridiculous to me. Okay, and we're back to the beginning. All right, so just to give you an idea, just you know how crazy it was. Okay, here. Um, all right, this was the program here guide for the convention and they did a really beautiful job here with the artwork i really enjoyed that there so i gotta find somewhere i can frame this up and keep it all right especially these right here because i'm going to add these to my collection and like i said i don't collect autograph photos for prestige the main reason i do it is i can say this i met this person on that day all right i got to meet dave prowse okay but the problem is Dave barely said a dozen words to anybody that day. I, it was like he was having, you know, a lot of trouble or lost some issues. I don't know. But I grabbed this photo because it shows him in more than just one role. All right. Because he did do a lot of different things. I heard he was even Doctor Who as the Minotaur in the Time Monster. And of course, there's Adam Baldwin. Let's be bad guys. Oh, I thought that was brilliant. And of course... <laughs> like I said, this was my photo. My wife, my wife got her own photo, you know, done on side sign. There's Peter Mayhew, of course. All righty. Okay. And this is the gentleman who did Ed Rockmar. Of course, it's a trap. His fame, well, his famous line, but it was uttered by another actor. Okay. There's Matt Quinn. There's that fellow there joined the resistance. And of course, John Berriman. My wife got a picture of him as the Dark Archer from um, Arrow. But I always think of him as Captain Jack. Iconic pose. And plus, this is going to be going on my wall. So it's like, you know, there we go. And that's all I got for you. All right. Oh, well. Like I said, there was a lot of other nifty things we picked up here and there at the con. A lot of t-shirts. Hang on, let's go through the shirts real quick. See if I got it. Matter of fact, the one I'm wearing right now, this is my boomstick. I picked this one up there. Um, some other nifty ones that I'm going to definitely be wearing. 
Of course, as most of you know, I am a big fan of Firefly. I was originally going to wear my brown coat to the con, but the problem is those, that brown coat is genuine cow suede, and it is heavy as a mother. So after you've been walking around in it for a couple hours, here's one that's going to piss off several fandoms at once. I love this shirt. Oh, my God, it's R2-D2. I, lo I loved him in Star Trek. <laughs> okay. Another Firefly one for you fans out there. All right, just a couple more and then I'm done. Oh. Okay, all right. Yeah, what part of ha 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 don't you understand? And don't worry, we're down to the last one. You should be able to pretty much predict what I'm, well, yeah, one, at least one of the shirts I got is going to be. Come on. Uh, okay, so we had some fun there. And like I said, I picked up a lot of lifting, but that was the majority of it. But all I can say is this, man. After a con like that, It got real. Okay, so until next time, everybody, take care. Ta ta. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm Dr. Freedom saying good night, kitties. And whatever you do, you can never have enough firepower. Good night.